Okay, let's get really complicated with chirality now. So we have two chiral centers here. And as drawn, I haven't specified the stereochemistry. So you should do this. Reasons you won't do this. One, you don't know, you're trying to cheat. Two, honest reason. There's absolute and relative configurations. So when a relative configuration, we don't specify the stereochemistry even, we, even though we know it's there. And the reason we would choose to do this is that the stereochemistry is not going to really affect our final answer. So this will happen in two cases. One, we are running a reaction on a different part of the molecule and it doesn't actually change the chirality. So let's say for whatever reason, we were able to add a halogen to either end. Let's, either end. let's just say we decide to do that, we have the reaction do it. Well, adding like a bromine or chlorine to this end doesn't change the number of chiral centers. So we don't really care whether we're working with the S or R configurations because they don't play a role in the reaction. The other is that whatever reaction we're running on the chiral center, it's either going to eliminate it or it's gonna basically make it irrelevant. So let's say we did an elimination reaction and we eliminate both the bromine and the hydroxide. Well, it doesn't matter if it's S or R configuration, the elimination reaction is gonna give us the diene when we finish anyway. So we don't really care. Now, if I were to draw the wedges and dashes in there, this would be the absolute configuration. So the absolute configuration is gonna specify exactly which chirality, S and R, we're gonna have in each chiral position. And this becomes very important when we start looking at stereospecific reactions. This thing like platinum, hydrogen addition using platinum, that's a syn addition to an alkene, and that's gonna give us only one of the enantiomers if we form a chiral center, in difference to something that's not regioselective at all. So, our absolute and relative configurations. Your absolute is gonna specify the geometry, but when you do that using the wedges and dashes, you are limiting yourself to a specific chirality, R or S for each chiral center. When you don't specify it, you're saying that they are both present, but they do not matter towards the reactions. So again, use them when they're important. If you're predicting products and reactions, sometimes you may just give both saying, hey, it's a racemic, make sure you get both. If you are doing a stereospecific reaction though, something like a syn addition or an anti-addition where you are gonna get only one chiral product, you do need to specify that in your final answer using the absolute notation.